What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. I'm back with more G.I. Joe Classified Series figures and today we've got the Target exclusive Cobra Island figures of Breaker with the Ram Cycle and Barbecue. So both of these look really cool. So we've got Breaker here with the Ram Cycle. So we get the motorcycle and some cool weapons to go with that. And then we have the Firefighter Barbecue in this really cool suit with some awesome firefighter accessories. So both of these just look awesome. Of course they're both more of the Cobra Island figures so kind of hard to get at Targets and stuff but these two are at least a lot easier to get. So Hasbro is doing a much better job there but we'll just go and look at the box here for our barbecue so we can spin around side of course we have their logos so we have that for each of the figures so we have their logos so i'll go through that and then of course we have the cobra island picture there on the back and everything and i believe these are probably going to be our last figures of cobra island because i know they're switching over to like other codename type things so i'm not sure if these are our last cobra islands but i somewhat believe they are but until we see more i guess we won't know but i both think they look really cool barbecue looks awesome i love his suit and then breaker just to me just looks like your basic what'd well, be like classic G.I. Joe just army man looking figure that comes with an awesome motorcycle so I'm excited to check both of these out so let me go ahead and get them open and we'll check them out together so let's go and start off with breaker and the ram cycle we'll look at the ram cycle second but here we've got breaker looks pretty good overall you know like I said looks just kind of like your standard like G.I. Joe army guy in the all green especially that's why I think of that but breaker's real name is Alvin Kibbe and he is a G.I. Joe communications officer so he does a lot with communications and I think it's all with like the old toy he comes with a lot of, like communication designs you know backpacks with antennas and stuff where everything now is built into his helmet so you can see it's got all this like contraptions and stuff and the little antenna and stuff there on his helmet so he doesn't have to carry the additional backpack and all the pieces now he just has everything built into his helmet so i think that helmet looks cool but you can obviously slide it off to see his face there so i think it looks pretty good you know it looks very humanish and everything i like it with the beard and all that looks pretty good overall and then we have that helmet piece there of course so i like that you can just slide that on and off and then the rest of his body like i said he's got the green shirt on he has the vest on with all sorts of pockets and i like the black details are there on the straps and the textures especially there on the back and he's got black gloves on his hands a green watch and then he's got the all green pants again looks just like past characters probably like snake eyes and everything else just in green black knee pads and the black boots and like i said just looks like your basic army man to me but for movements his head there can twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so pretty good movements there shoulders up 90 degrees with the butterfly joint and can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist a double elbow joint that can bend up that far wrist can twist around and flex back and forth he obviously has an ab crunch up in there but with the vest it's in the way but it can rock a little bit and then twist around as well hips up 90 out to the side that far thigh twist all the way around and like all the other gi joes they have kind of like the drop down hips so they drop down there but you can push him right back up thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side so really good figure overall no issues or anything now for accessories the only real thing besides the motorcycle he comes with is that he comes with his gallon gun which looks very cool so nice awesome like mini gun here nice barrel stuff of course will spin around shoot out all the bullets and the giant gun as well which just looks incredible so let's try and put this into his hand so with the gun in the hand does make him a little bit front heavy but that looks awesome there this would be a really great gun to give to roadblock to replace his like futuristic gun just very cool looking there just in an awesome looking gun you know looks more realistic compared to futuristic and very cool looking overall but then we can bring in the ram cycle which is just a motorcycle that the joes use like nothing too special but i don't believe probably similar to the coil bike we got with Baroness but overall looks cool so it's got the nice army green color it's got G.I. Joe there and then the star continuing on with MG1027 on it which looks awesome nice and printed on there and on the side back here we have instrument cover we have a little like wrench there so probably for maintenance and tools and stuff but overall looks cool so nice big wheels there all in black with rims and stuff going into the engine area with the all black course exhaust pipes coming out with the black wheels there the front looks awesome with the black windshield and then of course we have the handles there with the speedometers and everything and then the handles do twist around and you can adjust them a little to be able to get them into the figure's hands and you can twist it side to side as well to twist the wheel around it does have a kickstand on the bottom here that you can fold up obviously to get out of the way but it helps keep it standing up and the overall design is nice it's really nice and thin and stuff like the seat part it looks kind of weird the how thin it is tail lights there on the back and then over on the side we have this little sidecar piece with the leaving the little wheel on the bottom so it slides along as well with this container we put the gatling gun in and it can ride along as well and so very cool looking nice little box says usa and number 36 there so just awesome and it just pegs into the side of the bike with the pegs there so very cool looking so i have to put the gun in there and let's go and put breaker on the bike as well so there you got breaker on the ram cycle and that looks really cool he wasn't that hard to get on at all with the figures movements and everything wasn't too bad to get him on there so there we got him on and he's fitting pretty well on it he's got his hands on the handles and all that so overall works pretty well and then we also have this little sidecar with the gallon gun in so very awesome so if we go and fold the little stand up we can then roll it along and that is really cool i really like the look of this figure 
figure just overall. Of course, with the sidecar, you don't really need the kickstand at all, but that just looks super cool there for Breaker with the Ram cycle. And then we have Barbecue, also known as Gabriel Kelly, and he's the G.I. Joe firefighter, so he looks awesome here in the all orange suit, so it looks perfect for a firefighter. I like that he's covered head to toe, so you know he's like really prepared to go into a fire. So he's got his head completely covered with a mask on, and then he's got the all body suit, of course, with all sorts of breathing and apparatus and stuff there. Looks like maybe he's got some pockets and stuff on his chest. Nice little logo there on his arm, and then you can see that orange continuing all the way down to his shoes where he's got the black shoes, but I like the dark orange or red knee pads, the black gloves with the red on the inside. He's got some thigh holsters and everything in there. He's just all kitted out like perfect to go into a fire. Now, Barbecue is on the Hasbro website, so his little logo's on the side of the box. We were able to identify from there, but for Barbecue, he was environmental specialist, bladed weapons, chemical engineering, and rescue, which all fits perfectly for a firefighter, but he just looks incredible here. I really like the look of the figure overall. But for Moomin's head can twist all the way around. He can look down just a little bit and up a little bit, again, hard with like, especially the color piece there to get a lot of movements. Shoulders up 90 degrees there, rotate all the way around. There's a bit of a butterfly joint there as well. Bicep twist all the way around, double elbow joint that can bend up that far. Wrist can twist around and flex up and down for this one. And again, I'm sure there's nav crunch up in there, but it's covered by his vest piece and it can twist side to side there as well. Hips up 90 degrees, out to the side that far. Thigh twist all the way around. Double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back. Shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So again, just like all the other G.I. Joe's, not a bad figure at all. Now for barbecue, he comes with a lot of accessories. So we get a backpack piece here. So probably some oxygen and fire extinguishers and stuff like that in it. And you can see the nice black design with the canister sitting down in it that just pegs into the back. And it also comes with this tubing that goes into a gun here for a fire extinguisher. So very cool that it's got this gun design and you can curve it around and store it into the backpack as well. So with the thickness of the slot, it looks like you can't really get in any of the gun into it, but you can stick the tube into it. So you can just kind of do that. So it has it there ready for him whenever he needs it. But let's go and slide this into his back. So we got the pack there on his back. And then he also comes with some axes. So firefighters tend to use a lot of axes. So first off, we have like a little axe here or a hatchet or something, but looks pretty awesome. Just nice little axe, nice silver blade on it. But then it also has the knuckle piece on it there. So he can do some punching as well. Now with these, they have some holsters on his legs. So with this one, it can go into the side here. So it's just like a little clip piece. So this one, you can just slide into it to hold the axe. So there's the axe in the holder there. And we also get a long axe. So it just looks like your normal standard axe, which looks really cool again with the silver blade. Nice handle and just overall design. Now this one can go down into the slide and slide completely in. So he can carry all his weapons once again, which I love about the GI Joes. But let's go and give him some weapons to be fighting some fires. So there I got barbecue ready with the fire extinguisher and one of the axe ready to chop into some buildings to fight some fire. So that is really cool. So there we got our two GI Joe classified series, Cobra Island target exclusive figures of Breaker with the Ram Cycle and Barbecue. So both of these look really cool and I think are definitely must haves into your GI Joe collection. And thankfully, like I said, with Target and Hasbro and stuff, they did make these a lot more easier to get a hold of compared to their past figures. So hopefully you are able to get these if you do want them. But let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.